In this video, you are going to learn about the vertical and horizontal line test. So let's start with the vertical line test. The vertical line test is used to determine if a relation on a graph is a function. So it works by drawing a vertical line that is parallel to the y-axis. So if I'm able to draw a vertical line that is parallel to the y-axis, and it's able to touch more than one point on my graph, then that means that the relation, the relation on the graph is not a function. So when I draw it here on y equals x squared, no matter where I draw my line, it will never touch more than one point on the relation. So that means that we know that y equals x squared is a function because it doesn't touch more than one point. So here's another example. Try this one on your own. So if I draw any line on this, is there any going to be any point where it hits two points? So if I draw a line here, it doesn't hit two points. If I draw a line here, it's not going to hit two points. If I draw a line here, it's not going to hit two points. So this function is a function because it doesn't go through more than one point. If it went through more than one point anywhere on this, it wouldn't be a function. Here's another example. In this one, we have x equals y squared. So let's do the vertical line test to determine if this is a function. So I draw a line right here. We can see that this goes through two points. And we know that the vertical line test tells us if it goes through more than one point, our line that's parallel to the y-axis, then that means it's not a function. So now that you guys know what the vertical line test is, I want you guys to get a fundamental understanding of how it works. So in order to do this, we need to know the basic rules of functions. So in order for something to be a function, the function must only have one output for every single input. And this is extremely important uh, for the vertical line test. So we can see this if we uh, use the example x equals y squared. So in x equals y squared, if we plug in 1x, let's just say 4 for this example. If we plug in 4, what is y? Well, we know that negative 2 squared is 4. And we also know that 2 squared is 4. So that means there's two possible y values for our function. So when we plug in our x, there can be either negative 2 or positive 2. So this means that for the input 4, we have two outputs, 2 and negative 2. And this breaks the rule of what a function is. A function can only have one output for every input. But for this one, we have one input, which is 4, but we have two outputs, 2 and negative 2. And we can see this graphically. When I draw a vertical line, which is basically doing the vertical line test, we see that it goes through 2 and negative 2, which are both of our outputs. So now that we talked about the vertical line test, let's talk about what the horizontal line test is. So the horizontal line test is used to test whether or not a function has an inverse function or not. And so if we take a look at the example, y equals the absolute value of x, we can draw a horizontal line that is uh, parallel to the x-axis. And if this line that's parallel to the x-axis goes through more than one point, then that means the function does not have an inverse. So y equals the absolute value of x does not have an inverse function because our line, which is parallel to the x-axis, goes through more than one point. So let's take a look at this random uh, graph here and determine whether or not it has an inverse function using the horizontal line test. So if we draw a line here, we can see that it crosses through more than one point. So that means it does not have an inverse function. So let's take a look at one last example, y equals x squared, so you guys can get a better fundamental understanding of how this works. So if we do the horizontal line test, we can obviously see that this doesn't pass it. So we know that y equals x squared does not have an inverse function. But let's look at this mathematically. So y equals x squared, if we try and find the inverse of this, we just switch x and y. So x equals y squared. But if you guys remember from a few examples ago, x equals y squared is not a function in itself. Because if we plug in 4 for this, we see that uh, y can be both positive and negative 2. So that means because a function has to have only one output for every input, the output of this has 2. So x equals y squared is not a function. So because x equals y squared is not a function, that means the inverse function of y equals x squared does not exist. So this means the function y equals x squared does not pass the horizontal line test. The vertical line test. It's used to determine if a relation is a function. If a vertical line that is parallel to the y-axis touches more than one point of the relation, then the relation is not a function. So the horizontal line test. It's used to determine if a function has an inverse function. So if a horizontal line that is parallel to the x-axis touches more than one point on the function, then the function does not have an inverse function. Thanks for watching today's video and subscribe for more math help.